Guys, who could have thought that such a commonly used word could be so offensive? Many people think that guys and other words that claim women as men are just wrong, indistinguished, and just weird. The United Nations, or UN, realized this is a problem and decided to fix it by including it in the Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs. These 17 goals set out to be accomplished by 2030 have inspired many people to go make the world a better place. By creating these slides of buying gender bias, I am doing my part. I hope you're inspired like I was by reading and listening to the upcoming slides. Guys, in your lifetime, you've probably heard the word guys at least a thousand times. Did you ever think about what it means? When someone calls a girl a guy, they are trying to rename their gender. Most average people use the word guy at least three or four times a day. Guy means man, and man does not mean woman. I am pretty sure that anyone that is a girl or a woman out there does not want to be called a man or a boy. There is a difference, and for people to not recognize that is just insensitive and wrong. Mankind, man to man, manpower, you get the idea. There are many words people use to describe everyday things that are biased. Mankind, manlike, manpower, and manhood are some examples. Women are not men, and that is never going to change. But we girls and women need to change the idea that everything has the word man in it. I, for one, am not going to stand for it. And thousands of people believe that no one should stand that men get all the credit. Women do so much work too, and people should recognize their hard work and effort. Man. The word man itself is a biased word. In Latin, manuius, or man, means hand. Most English words are derived from Latin, so when they created the word man, they purposely made it mean hand, since it appeared to them that men worked using their hand, while women apparently did not. Today, this is a very big example of subconscious bias. Of course, we cannot change the word man, but maybe we can change the meaning. Of course, they would still have the more common meaning a folk or a boy. But when people say be a man, we can counteract it by knowing it is biased. If we keep using the word man to describe the strong, it will remain a biased word. Biased phrases. A man's home is his castle. Every man for himself. All men are created equal. No man's land. These are all gender biased phrases. They all show men's things or places. They do not give women or girls any of the credit or do not apply to them. Instead, say every person for themselves or humans are created equal. That is a more free term and promotes equality. Chicks. To all the people that have used the word chick to describe a woman, shame on you. A chick is a baby chicken or a baby bird, not a woman. Chicks are shown to be cute and reborn. So that's positive, but chicks are baby chickens, and chickens are usually shown to be stupid and dim-witted. Therefore, while calling a woman a chick, you are calling them cute, but dim-witted and stupid, and that is not at all respectful, no matter where you are or who you are. Women are women, and calling them chicks is just upright wrong. Calling someone cute is also really wrong if they are grown up. Why it matters. Gender bias might not affect you now, but it will later in life, and if you don't start realizing it is there and fighting it, it might lead to problems, especially for girls and women. When there is gender bias in the workspace, women only receive about three-fourths of what a man makes, so they make 75 cents for every dollar a man makes. This is called the wage gap. There is a day that fights this, called Equal Pay Day, but not even a whole day dedicated to Equal Pay can fix this. Only the people that use ge gender biased words can. Why it also matters. Gender bias also occurs in the workspace when men are in power or in control. Men usually prefer men, so they are usually promoted to higher ranks. Thus, unlike our recent election, many people did not choose Hillary Clinton because they believed a woman could not rule the country. In fact, many of the voters who believe this are women themselves. Even though 54% of women voted for Hillary Clinton, many voters found a way for now President Trump to win. What you can do to help. What you can do to help is really simple. Stop using gender biased words and phrases. By not using them, you are promoting gender equality and gender neurality. Also, you are indirectly teaching people that using these words and phrases are wrong and that they should not use them. By just avoiding these simple things, you help women and girls everywhere have a more equal future. Thank you for watching.